unsung scientific revolutionaries, Alfred Wegener introduced a theory of continental drift in 1912, proposing that the continents had once been joined together in a single landmass, which he called Pangaea, before breaking apart and drifting to their current positions. The orthodox view at the time was that the Earth's features were formed primarily by vertical movements, mountains rising and valleys sinking. The explanation for similarities across continents was that land bridges, now sunken, had once been connecting them. The scientific establishment found it inconceivable that solid continents could plough through the ocean floor. Wegener was ridiculed mercilessly by the geological community. The American geologist Rollin T. Chamberlain dismissed his work as footloose speculation and British geologist Philip Lake called it a fairy tale. At a 1926 conference in New York, specifically organised to debunk his theory, he was mocked as a dilettante since he was a meteorologist, not a geologist. It wasn't until the 1950s and 1960s that evidence began mounting in favour of continental movement. Nearly 40 years after his death, Wegener's basic idea had evolved into the theory of plate tectonics. The tragic irony is that he died never knowing he was fundamentally right, and the scientific community took about half a century to accept what is now considered one of the cornerstones of modern geology.